Dogs are a man's best friend, but just because they're nice doesn't mean they're nice to everyone and everything. <laughs> Don't believe us? Just wait until you see this. These are 20 dogs that are nightmares to wild animals. Number 20, Rottweilers. When it comes to strangers, this dog is quite cautious. It is strong, athletic, and fast. It can be taught to be a courier dog, scout dog, or patrol dog. This adaptable military dog breed is widely used in armies worldwide. This enormous dog is confident, ready to work, and most importantly, devoted. Because of this, Rottweilers were a perfect candidate for acting as messenger dogs throughout World War I and World War II. At a time when communication was substantially more difficult, soldiers had to rely on these magnificent canines' strong devotion to their masters to make their way through treacherous and forbidding terrain to transmit information. According to the FCI standard, the Rottweiler is one of the oldest dog breeds. Its origins may be traced back to the Roman Empire. These dogs served as herders and drivers. They marched over the Alps with the Roman army, protecting the soldiers and driving their animals. In a natural crossover, these canines met and mixed with the local dogs in the Rottweiler region. Rottweiler's portrayal as vicious or sedentary statistically violent dogs in many fictional films and TV shows, most notably The Omen, as well as sensationalized journalistic reportage, has contributed to the breed's negative image. But in reality, they are simply just wonderful dogs. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Begihari Kata. The Pakistani Shepherd Dog, also known as the Bagyari Kata, is available in three different varieties. Short-haired, long-haired, and the Bihari Alsatian. These dogs have a muscular and athletic body, and they are extremely strong and powerful. The eyes are formed like almonds, while the head is roundish. The nose is black and the soles of their feet are quite firm. The ears are erect. The coat is predominantly black and brown in color. Pakistan has been home to this animal for centuries, and it has been utilized for both herding and protection purposes there. In Hindi, the term Bhagyari means wolf and Kata means dog. Hence the phrase Bhagyari Kata literally translates as wolf dog or wolf-like dog. This breed of dog is most often seen in Pakistan, Sindh, and Punjab provinces, the Bagyari Kata is thought to have arisen as a result of a mix between a wolf and a domestic dog of some type, according to one of the many various ideas about the dog's origin. The notion is backed by the fact that the Pakistani Bagyari Kata resembles the Pakistani wolf in appearance and behavior. Number 18. Kangol the nation of Turkey gave birth to the Kangol, a domestic dog breed. It has the hardest bite of any domestic dog, with a biting pressure of roughly 740 psi, which is astounding for a dog you can buy and have around the house. These canines can bite harder than a lion. The Kangol was created to be a robust guard dog, capable of facing off other predators while they were out hunting sheep. But they also have very protective and loving attitudes, making them perfect as a domestic guard dog. Kangols were developed in Anatolia, which is now modern Turkey, to resist bears, wolves, and jackals. But they have since been transplanted to countries like Namibia and Kenya, where they protect cattle from lions and cheetahs. While it may appear that the lions and cheetahs are in a difficult situation, it positively impacts them by pushing them to hunt their natural prey rather than the easy catch of livestock, as well as discouraging local farmers from exterminating the big cats that might otherwise destroy their cattle and means of survival. When there are a few Kangles around, everyone seems to win, and these exquisite canines are more than just a powerful set of teeth. Number 17. 
Bloodhound Bloodhounds are naturally curious, pleasant, and self-reliant, yet they are recognized for their acute sense of smell, which makes them excellent for sniffing out humans and also narcotics. According to the AKC, the first known employment of bloodhounds by organized law enforcement occurred in England in 1805, when they were deployed to track down poachers and robbers. When a bloodhound is presented with a smell object, the dog creates a mental image of the odor which aids in distinguishing it from all other scents. A bloodhound named Nick Carter is the epitome of the trailing bloodhound, and his enormous celebrity may be the foundation of many bloodhound-related legends. Nick Carter was owned and handled by Captain G. V. Mulliken of Lexington, Kentucky who is credited with over 650 discoveries, including one that required him to follow a scent track that was 12 days old. For the most part, the bloodhound has been thought of as an English or Anglo-Scottish dog, either of unknown origins or, more recently, as a dog derived in part from the St. Hubert. It wasn't until the 19th century that it was claimed to be the actual St. Hubert, particularly by Le Coutu. Similar dogs are seen in medieval hunting art with drooping ears and lips, but they lack the bloodhound's distinct characteristics. The bloodhound's principal European predecessor, according to 16th century reports of the St. Hubert as a short-legged medium-sized dog, was the Norman Hound, which was much larger than the St. Hubert. Number 16. Pitbull Despite the fact that the American Pit Bull Terrier and the American Staffordshire Terrier are both based on British breeds, they are not the same as a standard terrier. They are, on the other hand, considerably different from the dogs of their forefathers in a variety of ways. Pit bulls are among the most misunderstood canines in the world. When people hear about attacks by any dog that resembles a pit bull, they automatically assume it as a dangerous beast. But bad people are drawn to this breed more than any other because of their amazing speed and strength, as well as their history of fighting, which makes them an attractive target for illegal dogfight operators. The fighting pit bull would be subjected to unlawful and extremely severe torture, starvation, and physical beatings by unscrupulous dog trainers in an attempt to instill a psychopathic mentality into the canine. This method is sometimes successful, as it is with any creature including humans. As a result, while it is not in the nature of the dog to be unfriendly, it is in the character of some humans to harass animals and provoke them into becoming violent. Aside from that, when properly trained, this is a great dog who will make a fantastic addition to your family as a pet. Number 15. Doberman Dog the Doberman Pinscher, which was named after the man who first bred the dogs in Germany in 1890s, is a more specialized dog than some of the other breeds on this list, with its own set of characteristics. These incredibly loyal, alert, and intelligent dogs are also extremely athletic, and it is essentially this last characteristic that allows them to perform their principal duty in police departments all over the world, including those in the United States. In spite of the fact that they are frequently used as sniffer dogs, the Doberman is extremely effective at tracking down fleeing offenders and biting their arms until they are brought to the ground. It was intended that their visibly muscular build and dark coat would be menacing to potential trespassers when they were first trained to be guard dogs. As a result, while early Dobermans were known for their reckless aggression and vicious temperaments, they have been selectively bred to have calmer temperaments temperaments in recent years, making them far more suitable as companion animals than they were when they were almost exclusively employed as guard dogs or working dogs. It was during World War II that they were adopted as the official dog of the United States Marine Corps, and they have since grown to become the world's 12th most popular dog, having appeared in a number of films and television programs. Number 14. Doggo Argentino the Doggo Argentino was bred with the express purpose of being a hunting dog, that is why in 1928, 
A small group of the best, largest, and strongest hunting dogs were chosen to create a new breed. As a result, this breed is capable of reaching a maximum weight of 100 pounds. This dog's hunting was not restricted to pursuing poultry and hunting deer. This breed was developed for the purpose of hunting large animals like as mountain lions and wild boar. In practice, the Dogo Argentino was bred to hunt large animals in packs alongside other dogs. The Doggo Argentino, on the other hand, was also bred to be a loving family companion. They are known for remaining loyal to their tribe and protecting it when necessary. This breed has the advantage of being able to operate as a security dog as well as a companion dog in the home. They are good guard dogs due to their steadfast loyalty and desire to protect their family. Their responsibility is to keep a watch on their house and family. The most challenging aspect of training them to be security dogs is instilling in them the concept of guest and trespasser, especially when it comes to wild animals. You'll have an incredible dog for your family with the Doggo Argentino, regardless of their defensive qualities. Number 13. German Shepherd this breed, the German Shepherd, is another which is commonly employed by the military. They are physically incredibly strong, agile, and simple to train. This dog breed is not as aggressive as some other dog breeds because of its relatively calm character. The ability to keep composure in the face of hardship is crucial in situations where a dog must remain calm. The German Shepherd is a loyal and devoted canine companion. This makes them particularly well-suited for military applications. This amazing dog is an excellent pick for a variety of reasons. Firstly, since they are strong, agile, and easy to train, German Shepherds make ideal scout dogs for a variety of tasks. But that's not all there is to it. Most importantly, these canines are not too aggressive, which allows them to maintain their composure in potentially hazardous situations. Furthermore, when one of these big dogs is by your side in a battle zone, its loyal and predictable behavior makes for a reliable wingman to have on your side. German Shepherds are one of the few breeds that are capable of doing a wide range of tasks. German Shepherds are one of the most popular and well-known police slash military canines in the world, having served in both the United States and the United Kingdom. Number 12. English Mastiff the English Mastiff is a huge dog breed that originated in England. These dogs may have descended from the ancient Alant and Pugnaces Brittany A, with a considerable contribution from the Alpine Mastiff in the 19th century according to certain theories. The Mastiff is distinguished by its gigantic size, big head, short coat, and a restricted range of colors, and its usual black mask. It is also known for its friendly and loving attitude. Even if the genealogy of contemporary dogs may be traced back to the early 19th century, the present type was only stabilized in the 1880s and developed since then. Following a period of rapid decline, the Mastiff has seen a rise in popularity across the world. Mastiffs have played an important role in the evolution of several dog breeds throughout history, with some being referred to as Mastiff-type dogs and others just as Mastiffs, which is a bit confusing. It is the biggest living canine outweighing the wolf by up to 110 pounds on average, making it a true giant. These dogs may be descended from the canines that fought lions, tigers, bears, and gladiators in Roman arenas, according to some theories. The Pugnaces Brittany A, which existed at the time of the Roman occupation of Britain, was undoubtedly a factor in the development of the English Mastiff. Gradius was an ancient Roman poet who wrote about British dogs praising them as being superior to the ancient Greek Molossus. Number 11. Caucasian Shepherd Dog It has been known since antiquity that Caucasian Shepherds were perfect dogs to protect dwellings from intruders and livestock from predators like wolves and coyotes, and they have been in demand ever since. 
Caucasian dogs have a wide range of appearances depending on where they were born. This breed has been bred into the genetics of many of today's international breeds all over the course of history. The Caucasian Shepherd Dog is thought to be a distant relative of the Balkan Sheepdogs and the Asian Mastiffs, among other breeds. As working dog breeds with a long history of guarding livestock and flocks, these massive bear-like canines are very similar in appearance and temperament to the Tibetan Mastiff, the first known mention of a large Molosser dog, which was used by Armenian Tsar Tigran II's army, dates back to the 1st century BC. Although the breed has been around since the 1920s, efforts to improve traits like a physical strength, boldness, to improve traits like as physical strength, boldness, hearing and sight, endurance, and self-confidence began in the 1920s. They were also able to refine the breed's tough, water-resistant coat. People may now raise Caucasian Shepherd dogs in a variety of environments, including those with more extreme temperatures, as a result of selective breeding efforts. Number 10. Irish Wolfhound the Irish Wolfhound is a large dog that has long been regarded as a great hunter. The Wolfhound, on the other hand, is capable of more than merely chasing and killing wolves. These dogs like being around people and have a welcoming disposition. They are the gentle giants of the canine world, without a doubt. Standing on their hind legs, they may reach heights of up to 7 feet. The breed traces back to the Dark Ages, when practically all of Europe was plunged in cruelty and turmoil and the immense knowledge of the Greeks and Romans was forgotten as everyone became embroiled in religious wars. Ireland, on the other hand, was the only place where the darkness was lifted. and many old ideas were kept alive in secret by monks in Ireland's monasteries. They also knew how to breed the best canines, and in the 3rd century, one Irish ruler, Cormac Macaert, had an army of 300 wolfhounds that he used to increase his kingdom's authority and territory. <laughs> John F. Kennedy, who served as president from 1961 to 1963, was the most popular of the few U.S. presidents of Irish ancestry. Wolf was his favorite pet, an Irish wolfhound he acquired as a present from Irish friends. Number 9. Alaskan Malamute Another breed with a long history dating back thousands of years, 5,000 years ago, the early people of North America used Alaskan Malamutes as pets and work dogs. You may be familiar with Alaskan Malamute cousins, like as the Samoid, Siberian Husky, and perhaps the Labrador. If you decide on one, keep in mind that it will need daily activity. They are sled dogs, after all. They don't bark much, but they are loud when they do, and enjoy howling to stretch their vocal cords. They're designed to withstand extreme cold, and have been previously used on Arctic expeditions. They helped settlers with bear hunting, tracking, and watching, as well as lugging supplies across cold terrain while towing enormous sleds. They're credited with, among other things, assisting in the colonization and development of Alaska by carrying messages and transporting supplies. During World War I, 450 Alaskan Malamutes were shipped to France to deliver supplies to French army troops stationed in mountain outposts. During the gold rush, these dogs were in high demand, as hopeful prospectors used them to haul massive amounts of food and supplies across mountain passes. Alaskan Malamutes were also used to sniff for miners, carry weapons, and perform search and rescue missions during World War II. Number 8. Presa Canario Because the Presa Canario is such an uncommon breed, it's astonishing that it's prohibited or blacklisted by insurance companies in over half of the United States. These dogs are native to the Canary Islands, which are located off the coast of Spain. They have big, muscular bodies and have been employed to defend cattle since at least 1501, when the breed's earliest records were produced. Aside from being cattle dogs, they were also used for dogfighting on the islands, so they're tough.
The Franco-led government of Spain initiated a crackdown on dogfighting in the 1940s, passing severe laws outlawing it, which resulted in a decrease in the number of presas bred. A single incidence of two presas attacking and killing a person in the United States sparked a media frenzy over the breed, and legislation was rapidly implemented to outlaw it before it had ever gained popularity in the United States. In this instance, a teenage lacrosse player was attacked and killed in her own San Francisco apartment building by Presa Canarios, who were being cared for by a married couple of attorneys whose client was serving three life sentences for being a high-ranking member of the Aryan Brotherhood. Not the nicest man in the world. The female attorney was charged with murder in the case, meaning that she allowed the dogs who were unlawfully trained for fighting to attack the victim, hinting that the canines were not to blame, but rather the reckless and dangerous persons in control of the dogs. Number 7. Boxer Dog Boxers may be traced back to a variety of dog breeds across Europe in the 16th century. Although the breed was developed and perfected in Germany over several years prior, boxers are related to nearly all bulldog breeds. They were previously used for dog fighting but have since been developed into devoted guardians hunters, and even messengers. They were one of the first breeds to be used as police dogs in Germany. Despite the AKC's designation of the breed in 1904, boxers only acquired popularity in the United States throughout the 1930s. The American Boxer Club was formed in 1935. Boxers' tails are regularly docked and their ears are frequently cropped. However, a growing number of owners choose to keep their ears uncropped. Boxers are unsuitable for both cold and hot weather. Their short coat provides no insulation against the cold, and their narrow nostrils hinder them from adequately panting, making it difficult for them to cool down. Boxers should be kept indoors during hot or cold weather. The boxer demands a significant quantity of everyday workout due to its high energy levels and athletic physique. Make sure your boxer receives the exercise he or she needs to keep physically fit and mentally stimulated. Number 6. Tibetan Mastiff With his massive, towering body, flowing mane, and watchful gaze, the Tibetan Mastiff is as regal and alert as a lion for hundreds of years. Tibetan Mastiffs have served as imposing estate guardians in Tibet, and today's Tibetan Mastiff retains his protective instincts, guarding his home and family with unyielding resolve. For new dog owners or those who are unfamiliar with guardian breeds, the Tibetan Mastiff is not recommended. In the right hands, the Tibetan Mastiff provides unparalleled love, devotion, and protection to its family, but it requires special care and treatment. Even with thorough socialization, the Tibetan Mastiff may be difficult to teach and maintain. Because of the breed's strong protective instincts, Some Tibetan Mastiffs may not always listen when their owners say a visitor is welcome, rather than an intruder who must be conquered. This breed requires a confident owner who can be a demanding but fair leader. We do know that the Tibetan Mastiff is an ancient breed that has existed in Central Asia for thousands of years. The Tibetan Mastiff was the first breed to be introduced to the Western world when it was brought to England in 1847, and included into the kennel club's first stud book. More than a century later, the breed arrived in the United States in the 1950s and is more popular than ever. Number 5. Wolf Dogs the ownership of mixed-breed wolves and dogs is fraught with controversy. In one study, they were identified as the mixed dog type most frequently involved in human killings, and they are prohibited in cities throughout at least half of the United States. You must work very hard to ensure that the dog half of these creatures is fully activated, since you do not want the wolf side to take over. Kristen Stewart grew up in a family with four wolf dogs and a neighbor sued Stewart mother, alleging that the family was raising wolves. 
before proof that they were wolf dogs, not wolves, was obtained. Stewart also had to get a restraining order against the lady who had been pestering her over the dogs, and they have at least one celebrity backer in Stewart. These dogs are undoubtedly difficult and not for the inexperienced, yet they may be wonderful friends with a little of the wild in them. Number 4. Fila Brasileiro the Brazilian Mastiff, also known as the Fila Brasileiro, is a large working dog that originated in Brazil. It's known for its superior tracking ability, ferocity, and merciless, impetuous personality. Instead of killing its prey, the Fila catches it and waits for the hunter to arrive. Because of these characteristics, the Fila Brasileiro is used as a guard dog, a cow dog for cattle, and a hunting dog for tracking and controlling large game. During the 18th century, when slavery was legal in Brazil, the Fila Brasileiro was employed to return fugitive slaves to their masters. The Fila Brasileiro is said to be descended from European dogs brought to Brazil during the colonial era, with little or no influence from pre-colonial South American dogs. The Fila Brasileiro was bred and raised on large farms and cattle ranches in Brazil. Without a court order, it is illegal to own any of these canines in Fiji, the United Kingdom, Cyprus, Norway, and Malta. In the Australian states of Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia, and Western Australia, the Fila is a restricted or illegal breed. Imports are also prohibited. They are automatically classified as hazardous dogs in New Zealand and Trinidad and Tobago, which means they cannot be imported and males must be neutered. Number 3. Borbol Dogs Boar bull dogs are a kind of mastiff dog that has its tail docked. They are a popular breed in South Africa. Mastiffs are the most agile members of the mastiff family. They are commonly referred to as farmer's dogs and are very popular in all kinds of agriculture communities. They are employed as a kind of protection against wild and potentially hazardous animals. And in Africa, there sure are a lot of those. When hyenas, lions, and other wild creatures attack their houses in South Africa, or bulldogs are called in to protect them, they are on par with the fighting dog breeds in terms of pure strength. When they fight, they have a tendency to pull and gnaw. The principal hunting purpose of this huge, strong dog is to defend its territory from predators such as lions. According to some reports, a single boar bulldog can even take down a leopard. Their demeanor is modest, self-assured, fearless, and fiercely protective of their family. This breed of dog is not recommended for first-time dog owners because to its tendency to be pushy and obstinate. In addition to being hostile against other dogs, they are also distrustful of strangers. Number 2. Neapolitan Mastiff the Neapolitan Mastiff, also known as the Mastino Napoletano, is a large Italian dog breed that is recognized for its intelligence and loyalty. In its origins, it can be traced back to the traditional guard dogs of central Italy, the Cane Corso, for example, and even the Rottweiler. The Neapolitan Mastiff is derived from capture and guard dogs of Naples, which is how the breed got its name. Piero Scanziani began breeding the species in 1947 after viewing one at an exhibition in Naples in 1946. He received his inspiration from this individual. He was the one who established the first standard, which was officially acknowledged in 1949. Typically weighing between 110 and 150 pounds, the Neapolitan Mastiff is a large and powerful breed of dog. The length of the body is typically 15% more than the height of the individual. A large amount of skin is present, particularly on the head, where it hangs in deep folds. Ideally, black, gray, and leaden coats are preferred. However, mahogany, fawn, fulvus, hazelnut, dove gray, and isabelline coats are also suitable choices for breeding. All coats are allowed to be brindled, 
A little white markings on the toes and chest are permitted as well. A Neapolitan Mastiff may live for up to 10 years if given the proper care. The average life expectancy in the United Kingdom is 7 years, with 16% of individuals living over the age of 9, according to a poll done there. Neapolitan Mastiffs are a breed of dog that has a friendly disposition. A fully grown Mastiff, on the other hand, might be deadly when it comes to wild animals due to their massive size. It is possible for Mastiffs that have not been properly taught, or who are psychologically ill, to be hazardous to both their owners and others. Number 1. Rhodesian Ridgeback the African Lionhound is another name for this impressive dog that is more commonly called the Rhodesian Ridgeback. It is a combination of European and African hunting dogs as seen by its characteristic ridge. The Rhodesian Ridgeback is a hunting dog breed that is assertive and strong-willed. Their abilities expand greatly beyond those of a regular guard dog. These canines can run as fast as a sprinter and are extremely smart. Furthermore, they are an aggressive breed with a powerful attitude. These dogs are usually reserved around strangers. Depending on the scenario, they can still be loyal to their owner. The courage, power, and agility of this canine breed make it capable of fighting a lion. When some farmers go on hunting trips, they normally act as a pack to corner a lion. Furthermore, this powerful muscular physique with a high hunting drive has exceptional smell tracking abilities. They do not abandon their prey and can track it over great distances, which could be bad news for Mr. Squirrel. Which dog do you think wild animals should fear the most? Can a dog really defeat a lion? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.